Hello everybody, this is another fictionalhead.com quick tutorial. This one's probably quicker than usual, but <clears throat> today we're going to cover how to use warping effects for logos and things, but without having it get real complex and nasty on the screen. It's a more efficient way of using warp effects. So say I have a logo for my company here, like this one, and I want to have it have a little bit of an arc, not a straight bar like this. Normally I could just grab it and do effect, warp, uh, let's go with arc, <clears throat> and you'll see when I preview it, it leaves the actual ghost of what's being previewed behind there, so it, it kind of gets in the way of what you're trying to see. A quick way to get rid of that is before you do your effect, do view, hide edges, or control H, or probably option H if you're on a Mac. Um, once you do that, all of the internal dots will disappear and you'll only get the bounding box. <clears throat> once you have that, do effect, warp, and pick your effect. And now you can see it's much easier to tell what's going on. You're not obscured by all the dots of what's actually in your illustration. This helps if you have a complex thing that you're bending, which usually you do. Um, it also helps so that when once you have your effect, if you go to apply a different effect, <clears throat> like, let's not do the same one here, um, you just see the final result. You don't end up seeing any of these nasty points that get in the way. So then once you have your multiple effect, which um, under window appearance, you can have your appearance here, it'll show you your multiple effects. If you wanted to do the um, rearrange them, at least I thought you could rearrange them. Guess not. Um, <clears throat> it shows that you did the arc and then did the fish, and you can double click any of them to bring them back open to uh, continue playing with them. So let's say that's my logo. Then once I'm done with that, I can hit Control H to get the normal points back, or um, what I usually do is I keep a version, and I just alt drag that to get a copy. I keep a version where my effects are live, and then for the final version I do Object, Expand Appearance, <clears throat> and what that does is it makes the effect effectively live, and then it changes all the points to match those effects. So that way if I show this logo here, and the client says, eh, I want a little less of a wave effect, you can just go back to your version that you have um, prior to converting it. Um, tone down the effect a little bit, uh, let me grab all of it, tone down the effect a little bit, and then go OK, and then, you know, give this version to them instead. So that's your quick tip. Uh, this can also be used on illustrations, but I tend to use the warp effects mainly on logos and things, but hope it was helpful. If you have any, oh, sorry, forgot, if you have any questions, feel free to send them on Twitter or click the link down below where this will be posted on my website and you can ask a question there and I'll respond usually via email because that's the quickest way. Uh, yeah, now hope it was helpful.